Hey guys, go some for the one here. Oh yeah, and welcome back to another video. Today, people, today I am going to be doing another Wi-Fi battle on my channel against my boy Arctic. Now this battle was very good. It was a, such a close battle. I enjoyed it a lot. Now, as you can see on my team, I have a lot of you Pokemon and a Screen Mon. Now, very predictable for me to go out to that at the beginning. Um, of course, I'm going to go out with my Screen Mon because I want those defense boosts right at the beginning of the battle. And on his team, he has a lot of low tier Pokemon with a potential um, OU Mon. I don't know if it's a UU Star Raptor here, but I definitely think it has the potential of going to OU. Now, let's get straight into this battle. Now, Arctic is issuing a battle. He switches out into his Cacturn. I knew he was going to predict that. I really had no choice. I was like, I need these defense boosts at the beginning just so I can guarantee it a win. The defense boosts at the beginning of the battle do help me a lot. I am able to tank a lot more shots than I usually normally would be able to. Now, I thought this man right here was going to be a physical mod, but I guess not. I do take a lot of damage from that Dark Pulse, not thinking he was a special attacker. I get both of my screens off at least, and I do lose my Meow Stick right here. Meow Stick did do its job with that Light Clay screening, but still, we could have used her a little more. Now, Pidgeot is going to come into the battle now. I'm going to go Mega right here. I was hoping maybe he would switch in, thinking that Sucker Punch would kill. I don't know if he would really think that. I wouldn't, at least. You never know, though. He's going to go for a Spiky Shield, though. Stalling out this one turn, not really benefiting any of us. We're not going to gain any health back. Nothing at all. No attack boost. Now, he's going to switch out, not wanting to lose that Cacturn yet, and switch into his Glaceon. Probably thinking maybe I would switch out, getting scared of the... Sucker Punch or something, but I did not. I went for the Hurricane, which did a lot on this Glacier, and then went for the guaranteed kill with the nice and clean Heat Wave right here, taking out that Glacier. Now he's going to switch into his Ampharos right here. This thing does scare me though. I do not want to take any damage from that Thunder, the Thunderbolt, even a Dragon Pulse. That would just easily take me out. So I switched into my Blissey here, gaining that safe play, switching into a special defense. Bulky Blissey against a very good special attacker. Now he's going to go Mega here, break the mold, and go for the Thunder, of course. Very, very predictable. Wanted to get rid of that Pidgeot very quickly. And we're going to eat that up again. Special defensive wall. Now he's going to switch out here. He wants none of this Blissey. I don't think maybe he has Focus Blast or anything. Not like it would do that much. Still, uh, he's going to switch to the Raptor here. Now, I just get that Toxic off because he did switch out. I was going to go for it on the... Ampharos, but it goes on to the Staraptor right here. Now, after I get that Toxic off, I'm like, nah, I do not want to stay in here. I know I'm not going to be able to tank a Bravery even, never alone a close combat. Um, I'm very scared of it, so I switched to my Google Chrome here. I was thinking maybe he would go for Brave Bird, but he did not. He wants that quick heal with the close combat. I tank it up either way, easily. I don't understand how it only did that much to Rotom, but it was a weird, it was a weird thing. Now, he does take some damage from the uh, poison right there. My reflect does wear off. He switches out right here. Very smart play on his part. He does not want to take any of that Volt Switch. I go Volt Switch here though. I could. I was honestly thinking about going for a Hydro Pump right there, but he did switch out. I can just get a free switch in for myself on the rope from the Rotom. Now I'm going to switch into Re Weavile right here, and Weavile is gonna pressure a bit. Uh, light screen does wear off. He's gonna switch out a character and he does not want to take any damage from the fake out ice punch that I have in store for him. He's gonna switch into my or into his J. Cole, probably predicting me to go for fake out and then he could have went for fake out next turn. But I don't want to take any more damage from my Weavile because once Weavile starts taking a lot of damage, it just starts getting crippled and crippled and crippled because if priority comes out, he's pretty much dead. Now, he goes for the fake out onto my Pidgeot. I knew Pidgeot was at full health, so I was able to bring him in onto that. And I go for a Hurricane right here, taking out that J. Cole, also known as a Min Shao. Now, uh, J. Cole is going to go down, and he's going to go ahead and switch into his Cacturn now. Uh, this was a really weird play from his on his part. He went for a Spiky Shield again, stalling out a turn. No point. We're not going to gain anything from it. Hurricane does come out, but protection and he goes for a sucker punch now he's probably hoping for the sucker punch to kill but it does not Pidgeot is still a little bit bulky in his defense is not super but he can tank a little bit some shots now hurricane is going to come out and take out that Cacturn now 
and he's gonna bring out his Ampharos, his little Fabio, and he's gonna break the mold, of course, like Mega Ampharos always does. I'm gonna switch out again. I do not want to lose my Pidgeot yet. Pidgeot is a very crucial Pokemon to keep in this battle, and Haxorus is gonna come out now. Now Haxorus, Haxorus is also going to break the mold. Dragon Pulse is going to come out. I was honestly at this play right here. I was predicting him go for a Thunder or something, not a Dragon Pulse, but he did, which did cost me my Haxorus right here. Now I switched back into my Weavile right here. I knew that an Ice Punch was definitely going to kill. Uh, I think it's neutral if it's not super effective either. Yeah, it's super effective because he is Dragon type. I didn't know if electric type resisted but that ice punch does take him out stab life orb high attack from a weeball now he's gonna switch back into his star raptor here getting the intimidate off now i am not scared of this intimidate at all we do have a lot of boost but again this thing is potential scarf i still didn't figure out at this point in the battle if it was scarf or not so i didn't want to take the risk of like losing my weeball at all if it wasn't scarf i was gonna stay in and Hit him with that Ice Punch easily. But he goes for another close combat here, doing even more than last time, which I do not understand what happened. Maybe, I don't know, maybe he was intimidated or something. I didn't understand what happened there. Now he's going to switch up, of course, or switch out, of course. I go for a Volt Switch. He definitely predicted that well because I went for it last time. Now Outrage is going to come out and take out my Google Chrome, also known as a Rotom. And yes, guys, Google Chrome, weird name on a Rotom, but I do like it. And I'm going to switch back into my Weavile here now, and pressure does come out, not really affecting the battle that well, or that much. Uh, fake Out is going to come out, doing a lot of damage, considering it's a Fake Out, onto that Garchomp. Rough Skin is going to hit me, and also Life Orb. Now, right here he gets flinched and confused, and I was like, eh, he's probably going to hit my confusion, so maybe I can get an Ice Punch off, but he does switch out into a Star Raptor, which... I don't understand why he does get that intimidate off but it does not matter at all because the nice and clean ice punch is going to come out and take out that star after nevertheless because super good pokemon we've all right there against flying types and dragon types and ground types listing all of them right there and now he's going to take some le or life orb damage and switch back into his guard chomp I do switch out of here though because I do not want to take the potential of losing my We've all right there from a outrage. So I switched into my Swag Z right here. I knew Swag Z was going to be able to tank at least two shots, so we can maybe get that confused hacks. I didn't know if he was going to get three turns of outrage or two, but right here he does get two turns of outrage, which is amazing. And confusion does hit him, which did help me throughout the rest of the battle. Now I'm going to bring back out my Weavile right here, and Weavile pressure, of course. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I went for Fake Out here. I was thinking maybe I just went straight for Ice Punch, but Fake Out does come out. I take some damage from Rough Skin. I think it would have been a little bit smarter if I went for the Ice Punch right off the bat, maybe to hope to hoping to get some Confused Hacks, but it does not happen. And he hits through the Confusion, which, again, maybe if I did a turn earlier, I would have been able to kill, but I was just taking the safe play right there. Now, Weavile does go down from the Outrage, and I switch back into my Pidgeot right here. And Pidgeot, right here in this battle, it's like, if he gets hit by Confusion, I win. If he doesn't, I lose. So, he does get hit, and Hidden Power does come out, taking out that Garchomp. Hidden Power Ice is four times super effective. GG well play, man. This was such a close battle. I think you took me down to my last Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken, which is very good. That was so much fun. Very close. Arctic, I want to battle you some more on my stream. You're my best mod on my stream, not gonna lie. I love you so much. Thank you, once again. And if you guys did enjoy this battle, uh, go ahead and subscribe to me. I would really appreciate that. If you want to follow me on Twitter, link in the description below, and also my Twitch if you want to battle me live. And maybe you can get your battle on YouTube, you never know. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with comment. Yeah.